The race for a COVID-19 vaccine here in Kenya has just gained momentum with two individuals having already undergone the vaccination process. Kenya is taking part in the global trial of the Chadox-1 NCOV-19 vaccine that has undergone such evaluation in Brazil, United Kingdom and South Africa. A vaccine that was developed by the University of Oxford in partnership with AstraZeneca. And as Raquel Mwigai reports, there's still a long way to go for the trial here in Kenya. Not so much will have been known about Kenya Medical Research Institute in Kilefe County. And while it is ironic to offer gratitude to COVID-19, the virus has shifted the country's attention to the researchers and scientists based here, where the wheels of the child of the Chadox-1 and COVID-19 vaccine have just started rolling. We have vaccinated so far two participants of uh, a total of uh, 40. And that's all obviously being done in a staggered uh, way. It's standard process to do that. The two could have been vaccinated with either the Chadox-1 vaccine or the control vaccine, which in this case is rabies. As part of the trial process, the volunteers always make their way here for registration as scheduled before they undergo various clearances. So we normally use this room for consenting. Mm -hmm. So we have a clinician, uh, either a clinical officer or a nurse, who takes the participant through the informed consent consent process and just um, tell them everything they need to know about the trial. A consent form that tells them of the risks involved in the trial, the volunteers being frontline workers in whatever sector and residents of Kilefe County. So we do safety tests. In this safety test, we do uh, tests for HIV, tests for hepatitis, you know, any safety bloods. Is it the liver function test, renal function test? So we assess for all this. We also do a baseline test for COVID-19. Having successfully completed that with no health issues involved, their files will be issued to this room where random selection of which vaccine will be issued to who will be done. The same room where the vaccinations will be prepared under stipulated temperatures. From the freezer to our preparation room, uh, the vaccine is normally transported in a cooler box, which is 2 to 8 degrees, and uh, it has to be prepared within um, four hours from the time of um, uh, removal from the, from the freezer. The vaccine uh, comes in, um, in, a, in a bit higher concentration, so it has to be uh, diluted uh, to make sure that the, the intended dose, the dose which is in the protocol, is given to the, to the participant. Once the volunteer has been injected, they will be monitored for an hour, with their vitals being taken in a room fitted with resuscitation equipment just in case of any eventuality. In this study, we, we have a follow-up. We call it a follow-up period of 12 months following vaccination. At the end of the trial, we would be able to look at A, how was your response to the vaccine in terms of the um, safety? Were you well? And then the other thing would be whether you generated uh, a good immune response and is this immune response comparable to what you're getting in other settings outside, uh, you know, Kenya. And whether the response being generated is enough to offer you protection against COVID-19. While publications indicate that the trial of the Chadox-1 vaccine in the UK proved to be a sure bet to fight COVID-19 during its phase 3 trial, the vaccine has to undergo a similar evaluation for the Kenyan population before it is given the go-ahead. So far, 38 vaccines are in their first phase, where scientists test safety and dosage, as well as to confirm that it stimulates the immune system. With another 16 being in phase 2, where scientists test the vaccine's safety, only 12 vaccines across the globe are in phase 3 of their trials, among them Pfizer, Moderna, Chinese-based CanSinoBio, as well as Johnson & Johnson. The entire world is in a race to find an antidote to the coronavirus that has wreaked havoc to the entire global population. And here at the child centre at Kemri Kilifi, the child process has just begun. And while there is still a long way to go, the team is hopeful that the child will bear fruit. Prakal Guy, Citizen TV, at Kemri, Kilifi County.